Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that you're all doing well this morning. I am not. Uh, just got a little rundown and just kind of taking it easy this morning because I'm tired. So, no, I was I was hitting the workouts pretty hard this past week and uh, uh, just lack of sleep and just trying to keep up with work and all that stuff. I'm just just a little tired. So, anyway, well, this morning we're going to start off in Psalm 16, and then we have another re reading in the Song of Solomon. And then uh, we're going to the Gospel of John. So let's get started. Psalm 16, and as always, may God bless the reading of his word. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. As for the saints in the land, they are the excellent ones, in whom is all my delight. The sorrows of those who run after other gods shall multiply. Their drink offerings of blood I will not pour out or take their names on my lips. The Lord is my chosen portion and my cup. You hold my lot. The lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Indeed, I have a beautiful inheritance. I bless the Lord who gives me counsel. In the night also my heart instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad, and my whole being rejoices. My flesh also dwells secure. For you will not abandon my soul to Sheol, or let your Holy One see corruption. You make known to me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Good stuff. All right. Uh, next, we're going to uh, Song of Solomon, chapter 8, verses 6 through 7. Set me as a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon my arm. For love is strong as death, jealousy is fierce as the grave. It flashes are flashes, its flashes are flashes of fire, the very flame of the Lord. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can floods drown it. If a man offered for love all the wealth of his house, he would be utterly despised. Okay. All right. A little coffee here. All right. Uh, going to the Gospel of John, chapter 20, verses 11 through 20. And this is where Jesus appears to Mary Magdalene. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. And as she wept, she stoo stooped to look into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had lain, one at the head and one at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Having said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing, but she did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. And Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and that he, and he, had, and that he had said these things to her. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being locked, where the, disciples, uh, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then his disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. And this is the word of the Lord. You know something that's always an interesting 
back to me when when Mary Magdalene turns around uh, the first thing she calls him is teacher Rabboni which means teacher and but on the way when she goes to this, the disciples she said I have seen the Lord and I just wonder um, on her way from from her encounter with Jesus the risen Lord uh, to the disciples does something click in there because she calls him teacher but by the time she gets to the disciples I have seen she says I have seen the Lord and uh, ah, oh well all right let's go to the pray now app and I'll read the prayer of the day let us pray Lord Jesus you are the good shepherd without whom nothing is secure rescue and preserve us that we not may not be lost forever but follow you, rejoicing in the way that leads to eternal life. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right. Well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day here in Southeast Texas. We've got some rain coming through, uh, so matting down the hatches. So. <laughs> so with that, be safe, be happy, and be blessed. And we'll see you tomorrow on Coffee and the Word. God bless.